hair floss later on and this thing is completely rewired the way I want it. So let's take a look at what I've done. The grand tour of my circuit bending. You may be able to see now that the um, other circuit board is now completely removed because it's not needed anymore. This is the circuit that I removed because I don't need that anymore. There's the voltage regulator that I put in for the 5 volts. I've wired the inputs into the circuit and I've wired the speakers up to the speaker terminals. These um, capacitors and resistors are also in the speaker circuit. I think that's to um, prevent the amplifiers from oscillating. The speaker connection is also connected up to a 2.5 ohm resistor and a 100 nanofarad capacitor. I know I've written 100 picofarads there, but it is 100 nanofarads. Who's talking out there? Interrupting my thing. Alright. One of our stupid neighbours. Much as I like hearing about your problems, would you mind keeping it down? Now, let's go over how I've wired this thing up. The DVD in is now for the front speakers. The aux in is now for the rear speakers. Unfortunately, there's no connections free for the subwoofer or the center speaker, so I've... So the center speaker input is also connected to the DVD left, and the subwoofer input's also connected to the DVD right. So that means if there's no bass on, on that, channel it won't hear it but as with most music the bass is usually spread out evenly on all the channels I guess it doesn't matter okay now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for it's time to test this thing to see if it works I have connected up four speakers each speaker is connected to a different output and as each speaker has a different tonal balance we'll be able to tell that this thing will be doing a sort of surround sound. We have two ancient speakers and two more modern speakers and we're going to see which ones sound better. This one is a Lab Tech from 1997. This one's a Sony from 2003. This one is a Sharp from 1967. And finally, I've absolutely no idea what brand it is, but it's from 1954. Now, let's test this thing and see how it sounds. I thought for this test we'd use a real audio source. Get it? Real audio source? Oh, whatever. So anyway, I decided to use my reel to reel, not just some crappy MP3 player. So, without further ado, let's test this thing. Okay, I've just learned something about this old 1954 speaker, it's very loud. I think this one is going now. Look, it's a 1967 shot. Doesn't seem to be as sensitive. Right, so that only leaves these two speakers now. This one is going right now. Just better turn it up a little. I don't have a very good connection here. It's right short now. So that just leaves this one right here in 2003. I don't know about you, but I think these two definitely sounded better than these two.
Okay, so maybe I'll never get 5.1 surround out of this, but at least I have quad sound. Now I've connected the tape recorder up to the input that also has the subwoofer input connector to. Let's play a thing and see how much bass this produces. It actually sounds pretty good. Let's go right up to the sub. Now I want to create a little device that when I turn my computer on, it turns on these external fans and also turns on this, which I have, as you know, rewired. This is what I'm going to use right here, this relay. It will be connected to the computer's 12 volt output, so when the computer's on, the relay will trip, and it will connect the fan and the amplifier to the AC, so I won't have to turn them on manually. Well, I'm taking all the things off the table now, and um, decided to give my computer a clean out. Oh my goodness, look at all the dust in this thing. It's absolutely... F I don't know if you can see that, but... And this is how I do it. Let's get an ordinary paintbrush. Just brush all the dust away. It's looking much better already. Okay, well, everything is off the bed now, and um, I'm working on the relay wiring. This is the relay right here, which I'm going to use. Well, which I am using. Let's just put the light on, you might be able to see it a little better. And um, if I can get this to actually focus, you know, what the problem I have with this camera, but... There's the relay wired in, and uh, this end will be going to the computer, and obviously this end, you can see, is connected to the um, to this, and the uh, plug. On the, other, on the other end of this wire is where those fans are going to go. And this thing is securely fastened onto the board. It's not going to move. That seemed to be a bit on the skew, but as we're looking at the underside of the board here, that's not going to really matter because this is going to be flipped over. So anyway, I've got to start... Um, I've already got to put everything back on now. Man, oh man, just look at all this crud on my bed. I'm never going to clear this and get to sleep tonight. And now, using my super psychic power, I'm going to make a cable come up through this hole. Well, it's all done now, and I've built a system that's completely awesome. This thing is so awesome, there isn't a word to describe how awesome it is. I'm going to have to make up a word like, um, I don't know, Painted sack. So let's turn the computer on. The fans come on automatically. That also means that it's turned this on too. Here you can see the um, one of the computer's um, power connections, and I've connected the 12 volt, as you can see there. So there's a cable that goes to the relay that switches things on and off, and that's how it does it. Where is the volume control, you might ask? Here. Yeah, I've had to put in a separate volume control for obvious reasons, but that is how I do the volume. So now, I can do YouTube in high definition and with sound. Can you hear how much bass this thing has? It's absolutely incredible. Okay, but we won't play too much of that because I don't want to get into any copyright issues here showing somebody else's video on my thing. Let's go! I'm playing Outrun 2006 in high definition for the first time. And boy, does this look good! This detail is absolutely amazing, although it's not very difficult, easy to do it showing it through, viewing it through the camera, though. This is even nice on the classic games, as I can see every single little pixel. And that just about brings us to the end of this video, so it's time to shut down the computer now.
fans automatically shut off and it's time to say until next time goodbye